Hey there guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a very convenient way of checking papers using the ZipGrade app. So the ZipGrade app is kind of like a scanner that will scan answer sheets in less than 5 seconds, lalabas ng score ng student, and imamark na din yung mga correct and wrong answers. If you're new to my channel, I'm Kevin Rick. I am a high school math teacher and I always find ways to make teaching easier. So before I start, shout out po pala kay Ma'am Joy. Thank you for sponsoring my Zip Grade subscription. Shout out then kay Shane Carmel. Uh, thank you for watching my video and good luck sa pagiging senior high. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so si Zip Grade app I uh Pwede siyang ma-download from the Play Store or Apple Store. After installing it, and then pag-open mo ng app, may lalabas na dialog box saying na ZipGrade is currently in free mode. All functionality is active but is limited to 100 scans per month. So in each month, 100 lang ang pwede mong ma-check na papers. But you can pay for a subscription. So for me, yung ginawa ko is... I paid for a one-year subscription and yun guys, hindi lang 100 ang pwedeng scan, kundi unlimited answer sheets. Unlimited papers lang pwede kong i-check using the ZipGrade app. So yun nga guys, unfortunately, it is a paid app, but sabi ko nga, it is for your convenience. And lahat ng convenience may kabayaran. Kaya nga, sa convenience store, mas mahal yung mga produkto cause you pay for the convenience. Paulit-ulit lang. So, paano ba mag-check sa ZipGrade? Okay, so I'll go to quizzes. I'll check, I mean, I'll tap new quiz. And then dito, quiz name. My quiz is for Mathematics Grade 10. So, I'll name it Mathematics 10. And then after you name a quiz, you select Sheet. So dito sa select sheet, may lalabas na ganito, 20 question form, 50 question, 100 question, and so on. Okay, so actually, yung zip grade po, meron siyang answer sheet na special. It is really made for zip grade. Okay, so may tatlong ready to download, ready to use na answer sheet. Ito yung 20, 50, 100 question form. Okay, so you can use them. And you can download them from the ZipGrade website. So, search mo lang yung ZipGrade website. Tapos, may lalabas doon. Tapos, pili mo lang yung answer sheets. And then, doon, mahahanapan mo yung 20 question form, 50 question form, 100 question form. And you can also download it in different formats. Well, actually, dalawang formats. Okay? First, you can download it in PDF format. Si PDF format is a ready-to-print format. Okay? Another format is CPNG. CPNG is an image format. So, so yung dinadownload ko is CPNG kasi I can copy it and paste it sa Word. And in that way, pwede ko siyang i-layout in this way para ma-maximize yung isang short bond paper. So, yun guys, isang short bond paper, meron na agad apat na answer key. Okay. Mas maganda na din kasi yung mas maliit na answer key kasi uh, mas maliit din yung circles, mas maliit yung ishi-shade ng student, less time of shading. Kasi kung malaki yung um, circles, it will take a lot of time to shade. Uh, mahirap na nga yung test. Pahihirapan mo pa silang mag-shade, ba So, let's make the answer key smaller. So, actually, yung gagamitin kong answer sheet is yung Mathematics 10. Okay? So, yung Mathematics 10 is an answer sheet customized by me. Okay, so pwede kang gumawa ng sarili mong answer sheet. So doon, pwede mong i-customize kung ilang items, kung ilang choices. Okay, wait. Tingnan natin dito. And click OK. And edit key. So yung Mathematics 10 answer sheet na kinustomize ko is ganito siya. Okay, so 1 to 10, meron silang dalawang choices. It's either T or F. Usually kasi ako, um, mahilig akong magpa-true or false, alternate response. 
So dito, shade T if the statement is true, shade F if false. And then the rest of the items, 11 to 35, multiple choice na A to D. Yung given template kasi yung 20, 50, and 100 question form, um, nakaset, nakaset siya uh, na five choices. So parang A to E. And parang exaggerated naman yun. And yun guys, pwede mong bawasan yung number of, of choices. So ulitin ko, after mong na-input yung quiz name, at uh, na-input na din yung answer sheet na gagamitin, the next thing you're going to do is to press edit key. So dito sa edit key, pwedeng mano-mano, I mean pwedeng mano-mano, you can input here the answers. Or pwede din naman gumawa ng answer key using yung na-print na na answer sheet. So yung ginawa ko, print ko yung answer sheet, dito ko na sinagot. Dito ko nilagay yung answer key, yung mga tamang sagot. Okay, so yun guys, ang gagawin ko is to scan for key. And yun guys, yung gagawin ko lang is itututo ko yung apat na corners sa apat na squares sa answer sheet. And boom, na-scan na niya yung answer key. I can use it and may lalabas na dialog box. Nandito yung point value for correct answer. So ilang point sa isang correct answer. And tama naman, one point. Or you can also modify that to two points each item. Ganun. And I'll click save. And yun guys, na-shade na yung key answer. So meron na tayong key answer. And pwede na tayong mag-check ng papers. Okay. Gumawa ako dito ng tatlo, tatlong... Uh, kunwari responses or kunwari sinagotan ng studyante. So, tingnan natin kung gaano nga ba kabilis si zip grade mag-check. Okay, so first, i-check natin si Miss Dina Lego. So, tutok lang yung camera sa apat na corners and boom! Meron nang sagot. Sorry. And boom! Meron nang sagot si Miss Dina Lego. So, lalabas na agad yung score niya and yung score niya is 30 over 35. And beside it, meron na din yung percent. So, 85.7%. Pasadong pasado si Miss Dina. So, pwede mo i-review si paper. I mean, review paper. And then, doon mo makikita yung mga items kung saan siya na mali. Okay? Ayan, guys. As you can see, yung ginamit ni Miss Dina na nag-shade is lapis. And so far, okay naman siya. Nababasa naman siya ni Zip Gray. Okay, let's check another paper. Check naman natin si Mr. Philip Ines. Boom. So si Philip Ines ay nakakuha ng score na 16 over 35. And yun guys. So yung kinamit ni Philip na nag-shade is marker. And so far okay din naman. Nababasa siya ni Zip Grade. And then medyo tamad si Philip mag-shade. And nare-recognize pa rin siya ni Zip Grade guys. Pero as you can see sa... Number 17, ni Philip, dalawa ang sagot niya. Ang tamang sagot sa number 17 is letter D. Ang sagot ni Philip ay C and D. Pero as you can see, since dalawa ang sagot niya, minalik siya ni zip grade. So kapag ka dalawa ang sagot, kahit tama yung isa, imamali yan ni zip grade. Dapat kasi isa lang. So si Philip, 16 over 35. Wala pang 5 seconds, may score na siya, na-check na siya. ba? How easy can that be? Okay, so let's check the last student. Si Miss Terry. Tutok ko lang. And boom! Si Miss Terry ay nakakuha ng score na 20 over 35. That is 57.1%. It's more than half. And review paper. Ayun, guys. Okay, so yung ginamit ni Miss Terry na nag-shade is ball pen. So far, okay naman siya. Nabasa siya ni zip grade. And, ayun. So number 21 ni Miss Terry, blanco. Wala siyang shinade na choice. And of course, matalino si zip grade. So kapag ka walang na-shade, iro-wrong niya yan. Okay, so pwede mong screenshot yung mga to and you can send it to your students. And pwede nilang makita yung score nila. 
so that uh, they will have an idea kung ilang points pa ang kailangan nilang habulin sa mga following quizzes. Okay? Yung isang magandang feature ni ZipGrade is yung item analysis. Dito kasi sa item analysis, ipapakita dito kung sa ang item maraming nagkamali. So, for example, dito sa number 2, walang estudyante ang nakakuha ng tama. So, dito magre-reflect ka na as a teacher kung bakit kaya, bakit kaya walang nakakuha ng tamang sagot sa number 2. Maybe it's too difficult or maybe masyadong confusing ang mga choices mo. So, yun, you will have a reflection kung papalitan mo ba yung item mo, papalitan mo yung question. Ganon. So, ganon ka-convenient at ganon kagaling si ZipGrade. Imagine kung ilang minutes ang nasave mo sa pag-check, di ba? Ganun-ganun ka lang. Meron ng score. Ready to record na. Di ba? So, uh, that's how that's how ZipGrade works. And one thing more, kapag ka review papers mo, nasisave na ni ZipGrade yung mga answer sheet na na-scan. Okay? So, pwede mong balikan. And yes, guys, actually, I'm not using the internet. Hindi ako nakakonect sa Wi-Fi nor mobile data. Offline ko siyang iniiskan. So, ganun talaga ka-convenient si ZipGrade. So, ganun, guys. That's how ZipGrade works. It's very easy, di ba? And I hope you can also apply this in your classes sa pag-check ng sandamakmak na papers. So, thank you guys for watching. So, for more EdTech video, please visit my Teach Knowledge playlist. And please, 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 please don't forget to subscribe down below. See you guys in the next video.